where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. It's more scared of you than you are of it. Have you ever had anyone tell you that when you were afraid of something? That puts your fear in perspective and almost makes you feel sorry for the mouse or bug or snake as you're looming over it threateningly. Almost. In Joshua 2, God used the same tactic to give the Israelites a different perspective of the people of Jericho. The two spies Joshua sent into the city hid in the home of Rahab, and the king found out. Rahab redirected the soldiers who came to her door, then had a heart-to-heart with the Israelite spies while they waited for an appropriate time to make their escape. She spoke for her city and possibly for the land in general when she told them, I know that the Lord has given you this land, and that the fear of you has fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan. And as soon as we heard it, our hearts melted, and there was no spirit left in any man because of you. For the Lord your God... He is God in the heavens above and in the earth beneath. Just think, how long it had been since the Israelites left Egypt and crossed the Red Sea? Forty years. Even if news traveled slowly, the people who lived in the land that God had promised to the Israelites had been terrified of their coming for decades. Rahab and her fellow townspeople had been hearing about the Israelites and their God all their lives. Their parents had probably warned their children, If you don't behave, the Israelites will get you. Now they were right on the other side of the river. God had prepared their hearts for this invasion way back when the children of Israel had shown up the first time. If those ten spies hadn't planted fear in the hearts of the people, if they had trusted God and not turned their back on his original plan— If they had believed Joshua and Caleb the first time they'd arrived at the edge of the promised land, they would have realized how God had the hearts of the people prepared for their coming. They were quite literally more afraid of the Israelites than the Israelites were of them. However, at the time, the Israelites' fear of God had not won out over their fear of people, so they rebelled and wondered for forty years. Do you notice that in Rahab's mind it was a done deal? She said, I know the Lord has given you the land. Apparently the whole city felt the same way. They knew, from the king on down to the lowest prostitute, that the God of Israel would win. Their land would be Israel's. They would be wiped out. Imagine their dread, living with that for forty years and never knowing when, but knowing that destruction was certain. The spies reported back to Joshua the encouraging news in verse 24. Truly, the Lord has given all the land into our hands, and also all the inhabitants of the land melt away because of us. Have you, like the city of Jericho, feared something, living in dread for years? Why? If you are a child of God, you are under His control and protection. You have nothing to fear. Trust Him. Are you, like Joshua and the Israelites, about to step out in faith? Trust God to go ahead of you and prepare hearts for whatever he's about to do. You don't have to do it all. Don't fear to take that step of faith. Fear God above all else. Look at everything from the perspective that the Lord's more powerful than this problem, this crisis, these people, and you are with him. As always, we'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to share a treasure, support this ministry, or get Carla to speak at an event, please contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.